Well, hey guys, welcome back to Try This DIY. My name is Alan, and today's video, I wanna show you guys how you can fix your minivan door that doesn't shut, and it keeps trying to kick it back. So let's go ahead and dive in. So this is where we hit the door. I'm not gonna say who was driving, but it was the main driver of this vehicle. And they hit this door um, while the door was open, um, and they were trying to pull it into the garage. This, uh, this hit the garage door, and I'll show you what that looks like as well. This is where the car door hit the garage. You can tell it kind of hit right there and knocked it off of its alignment. So guys, when this happened to our door, you actually could shut the door manually. You could push it and it would actually go in when you push it in. But when you tried to press the button or if you try to press this button right here, it kept trying to kick it back out. Um, and I couldn't figure out what was going on. I actually talked to a mechanic friend and he showed me this super easy trick um, to fix this door. So let me show you guys how we fixed it. Hey guys, y'all try to, hey. So guys, what was happening was ours, these sensors right here on the edge of the door, these two little nubs, you got one right there, and then also another down here. What was happening when these were trying to close into this little area right here, they kind of go right in these holes, and that would be the indicator for the door to shut and then lock and kind of lock it all in. And what was happening is that sensor wasn't going in perfectly straight. It was kind of going into an angle and they would miss it a lot of times, and so the door would get right here and then it'd try to go back. Um, and so I had no idea how to fix this. I talked to a mechanic friend of mine and what he showed me was, is you just take a wrench or a ratchet and you just kind of loosen up these sensors right here. And when you start to shut the door, you will just let it shut, try to do it itself, make these kind of loose. When you loosen these up, they can kind of move a little bit. And while you're, while the door is shutting, you would just kind of see where it would adjust. And then you would try to hold it the best you can, whether your finger or a screwdriver, just be real careful. Don't let it shut your finger in but you would just kind of hold it in there, let the door show you where it needed to go, and then you can adjust this slightly to make that door shut. So guys, here's a couple of different ways you can do this. First, like I mentioned, that you can have the door shut and then try to figure out exactly where it needs to be, kind of shows it where it needs to go. Or you could also just let it shut and try to just kind of guesstimate, see where the door shuts, and then try to adjust it after the door has shut that's another way you can try both of those methods. Y'all are probably like me where you bought this minivan for these sliding doors. So you could either press a button or your kids could get in, but then it was really frustrating. Uh, it was frustrating for my wife and my kids when they couldn't shut this door. We had to always come and shut it manually. It was not a lot of fun for a few weeks there, but hopefully this video was able to help you get back to living life and maybe even save you some money from taking it somewhere to get them to fix it as well. But if this video was helpful, you can let me know that. You can leave a like and subscribe. Also, I'd love for you guys to check out this next video right here, and I'll see you over there.